Hello friends, today we are going to learn tenses in English. In this video lecture, we will learn types of tenses, form and functions of simple present, simple past and simple future tense, form and functions of present continuous, past continuous and future continuous tense. There is also an exercise at the end of the video. With the help of that exercise, you may understand your comprehension level. Tenses show the time of an action and its degree of completeness. There are three types of tenses, present tense, past tense and future tense. Present tense shows that an action takes place at present. Past tense shows that an action was completed in the past. Future tense shows that an action will be completed in future. Each tense is subdivided into four classes. See the given table. There are four aspects. Simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Based on these aspects, there are 12 tenses. Simple present, simple past, simple future. Present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. Present perfect, past perfect, future perfect. Present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. These are 12 tenses in English. Now we will learn these tenses one by one. Simple present tense. Look at the form. Subject plus verb base form or yes form plus object or complement. Here, if the subject is third person singular number, use verb yes form. That is, we add yes or yes to the main verb. Now, look at the examples. Affirmative sentences. I write, we write, you write, he writes, she writes, they write. Now, negative statements, I don't write, we don't write, you don't write, he doesn't write, she doesn't write, they don't write. Now, interrogative sentences, do I write? Do we write? Does he write? Does she write? Do they write? Now, uses of simple present tense. Simple present tense is used to express general truths. For example, the sun rises in the east. The tense is also used to express facts. For example, honey is sweet. Simple present tense is also used to express habitual actions. For example, he takes tea every morning. The tense is also used to express future event which is a part of fixed timetable. For example, the next flight is at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. To give running commentary of events, simple present tense is used. For example, the batsman drives the ball to the boundary. This tense is also used to introduce quotations. For example, Alexander Pope says, a little learning is a tense. Simple past tense, subject plus verb past form plus object or complement. This is the structure of the simple past tense. Now look at examples. Affirmative sentences, I wrote, we wrote, you wrote, he wrote, she wrote, they wrote. Negative statements, I did not write, we did not write, you did not write, he did not write, she did not write, they did not write. Interrogative sentences. Did I write? Did we write? Did you write? Did he write? Did she write? Did they write? Now, uses of simple past tense. Simple past tense is used to describe an action which is completed in the past. For example, I went to Delhi in 2019. This tense is also used to describe past habits. For example, she always carried an umbrella. 
simple future tense. Its form subject plus shall or will plus verb base form plus object or complement. Affirmative sentences I shall write. We shall write. You will write. He will write. She will write. They will write. Negative I shan't write. We shan't write. You shan't write. He shan't write. Sorry, he won't write. She won't write. They won't write. Interrogative sentences. Shall I write? Shall we write? Will you write? Will he write? Will she write? Will they write? Remember, if the subject is first person, I or we, use shall. If the subject is second person or third person, use will. Now, uses of simple future tense. This tense is used to express future actions. For example, we shall begin the work from Monday. This tense is also used to describe what we think or believe will happen in the future. For example, I think that India will win the match. Continuous or progressive aspect. Continuous tenses are also called progressive tenses. Present continuous tense. Look at the form. Subject plus M is R plus verb ing plus object or complement. If the subject is I, use helping verb M. If the subject is he, she or it, we use is as a helping verb. If the subject is we, you or they, we use helping verb are. Now look at different examples. Affirmative sentences, I am writing, you are writing, he is writing. Negative sentences, I am not writing, you are not writing, he is not writing. Interrogative sentences, am I writing? Are you writing? Is he writing? Uses of present continuous tense. The tense is used to express an action which is going on at the time of speaking. For example, I am speaking to you. The tense is also used to show an action that will take place in the near future. For example, my uncle is arriving tomorrow. Past continuous tense. Look at the form. Subject plus was where plus verb ing form plus object or complement. If the subject is I, he, she or it, use helping verb was. In other cases, use where. Now look at the examples. Affirmative sentences, I was writing. They were writing. I was not writing. Negative. They were not writing. This is also negative statement. Now interrogative sentences, was I writing? Where they writing? Uses of past continuous tense. Past continuous tense shows that an action was going on for some time in the past. For example, when I saw him, he was watching TV. Future continuous tense. Look at the structure or form. Subject plus shall or will plus be plus verb ing form plus object or complement. If the subject is first person, use shall. If the subject is second or third person, use will. Now look at different examples. Affirmative sentences, I shall be writing. We shall be writing. Negative, I shan't be writing. We shan't be writing. Interrogative, shall I be writing? Will he be writing? Uses of future continuous tense. The tense is used to express an action which will be in progress in future. For example, at 5 o'clock, he will be watching the cricket match. To express future actions which are planned. For example, I shall be staying here till Sunday. Now, at the end of this video lecture, I provide an exercise to you. Pause the video and solve the given exercise. Find out correct answers and check your answers 